you've been with Jenny for so long uh, now. How many years has it been you two have been together? This is our 14th season together. So, How have you, I, I, this is an unfair question, but how has she changed? How have you changed since that first year? Um, it, we're probably, I mean, I don't know. I mean, we still make them work, but we were probably harder on some of the teams in the past. But I mean, I, I don't feel like we've changed a ton. We still expect the same things out of the girls and still, you know, have them work this year has been crazy just with like the changes that we've had to deal with. But um, overall it's about, I mean, same thing. I don't feel like it's been 14 seasons, but it has been. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you referring to the COVID as far as the change? Yes. Yes. Stuff? Yeah. Just like all the yeah rule changes and everything that we've had to deal with. So what's been the most frustrating part about that? Um, I think, it, well, I'm like for a short season that we've had, it seems like it's been, super long and I think it's just more been like kind of a, a mental a battle trying to um, deal with some things because in January you know you should be kind of clicking and playing some of your better basketball but then when we were actually in towards the end of January maybe we've played five games so it was kind of frustrating because some of the girls you know would feel like we were supposed to be or they were supposed to be at a, a certain part but actually it was still we were we were just beginning so it's just, and then I think not having the postseason that we normally have last year um, kind of hurt as well. In those 14 years, I, I'm sure the game has changed a little bit. What's been the most noticeable change in, in the game? Um, well, when we started out, well, just little rules like in the game, like we didn't have a 30 second backcourt. Like we could take 20 seconds to walk it up. And now we have that. We We played two halves like the men and now we're, in quarters um just the you know how you can call a timeout um to advance the ball now towards the end of the game or something and just little changes like that and um just kind of depends on like your team you know the differences that you'll have but do you want at some point if the situation was right to to be a head coach i mean i don't know i don't really think about it. i mean i feel like i work really well with jenny so i I enjoy being the assistant right now, so I'm yeah. comfortable where I'm at. Yeah, and, you know, it seems like you two do get along so well and you're kind of on the same page. Can you break it down, though, what you guys each are responsible for, for instance, during a practice? Um, well, when we break up, like, we um, – I work more with the post and she works more with the guards. Um, and then, like, when we're working together, she's more, like, offensive-minded and – we might do, be doing an offensive drill, but I'm always looking at defense for some reason. So, yeah, we kind of are looking at different things the entire time. But probably the biggest thing is she works more one on one with the guards during practice and I'm with the post players. How about when it comes to recruiting? Uh, always a big part of the college game. What, what's your role in that? Well, honestly, we do a lot of it together. If we we can both make it to a game or something, we'll both go together together. Um, if we need to be at two different places, that's when we'll split up or something. And yeah, we'll, um, it, each of us will, if there's somebody we see, we'll, whoever can find contact information, we'll stay in contact with them. So it's pretty similar there. Um, and whatever she needs me to do, I'm yeah willing to help out any way I can. So. Leslie, I'll bet people don't know that uh, you are one of the, uh, what do I want to say, the uh, supervisors for the Ketchum Center. So you've yeah. got a kind of a, a job outside of coaching in a sense. Uh, yeah. What's that like? Um, it's not, I mean, it's not bad. I, I, I can like being, I'm like, I'm in the gym all the time, whether it's with basketball or just but working. I feel, I feel like it's my regular job <laughs> kind yeah. of, but yeah. Um, always in the gym that way. I kind of like it that way. If the girls are coming in and out, I'm here to help them out any way that they can, but, um, mainly just making sure the facilities, um, kept clean, um, like the schedules up to date. If we have the scheduling or anything that things get set up for and stuff like that. Were you always kind of that way? I see, I have a picture in my mind that you were kind of a gym rat when you were a kid. <laughs> Yeah, I liked being in the gym. We um, growing up, I lived across the street, and my dad was a teacher, so I had a key to the gym whenever I wanted to get in there. <laughs> right, where where was that? Um, at Mercer. At Mercer. So I went to Mercer High School. Yep, it's about thirty five miles north of here. So, 
How did you ever get involved in coaching to begin with? Was it something you always wanted to do? Well, honestly, I never really thought about it um, until I was actually living in um, Texas and I came back up for one of my friends um, was getting married and she had a reception here at the Ketchum Community Center. So I came back and was helping get ready for that. And I ran into Steve Ock, who used to run the Ketchum Center. And then Max Mother's Ball was my head coach. So I ran into them and then there was a job opening and they gave me a call and that's kind of how I ended up back up here. And the, I now I don't know what else I would do if I wasn't coaching. So, right. And now it, Jenny, it was Jenny's first year also, right? Yes. Um, she was the assistant before I got here. And then when she took over as head coach that I've been her assistant ever since. You were talking a little bit ago about you working with the posts and uh, Macy Moore has had to be a blessing for you this year. I hate to put you on the spot, but how good is she? Uh, maybe in your 14 years, where does she rank? She's pretty talented. Yeah, she's, I mean, she just has a knack for the ball. Like it just kind of reading for rebounds, for instance, that's not, it's, you can't really teach reading the ball off the rim or just like knowing where to be. Um, we work on it every day, but it's just come, it's natural to her. So, you know, you don't, you don't see a lot of that. Um, some girls really have to work at it to get it, but she just, that's kind of the, the natural ability to well, read the ball off the rim and everything. And it's always in the right spot, seems like. And, you know, I think one of the stories that uh, we haven't followed up on a lot is Kennedy Kiefer. Kennedy was kind of in that spot last year. Yet yeah. she has made, a, at least from an outsider like me, looking in, uh, she's been very good at, at being able to fill a different role this year. Yes, she's, well, we had, when we lost Dabriana Babbles, um, she was, long and she helped adjust a lot of shots on the inside so Kennedy's definitely stepped up and you know the post that we need to to get stopped she's um she's worked really hard on defense and she's I'm the I'm very impressed with how well she's been doing and I'm very comfortable putting her up against any post player just her defense is great and just um being able to move and um It'd be in the right position on defense and everything. But no, I'm very happy. I have all our post players, I'm ha happy with how they've played all year. So I've, I've said this a couple of times. I think Kennedy is really good at taking a charge. She's not afraid to hang in there. In fact, I think she would be good at that on the men's side if she ever had a chance. <laughs> right? But yeah. No, she is really good. And she's not afraid to step in there and take it, you know, and she's always encouraging others just to step over and take the charge. But she she gets her body in the right place and Get, get set. And I, I think she's probably draw, uh, has drawn a few other charges that haven't been called, but yeah, she, she does a very good job of getting in the right spot at the right time. Finally, what has been the most special part of this year, this team? You know, they are, they are just a fun group to be around. I mean, um, and that's something that we probably, I guess it's kind of special about being here. I'm like, we seem to just have a good kids a majority of the time and they are just, they're a fun group and it's, you know, you'll be traveling on the bus and it's never a quiet bus ride. And they're just, <laughs> they're, yeah, they're always doing something, but yeah, they're just, they're a fun group to be around and just, yeah, listening to them the, in the locker room or, you know, even being on the bench, they get so excited for each other and just seeing like, you know, it doesn't matter who's scoring or whatever. They're all super excited for whoever's the one hitting the shot or anything. So it's just, they're fun. <laughs> well, Leslie, we hope that fun continues for a number of uh, games past yeah. this one. So thank you yeah. for joining us. Thanks. Leslie Collins, our guest, and we're back with more in a moment. <laughs> 